Okay, I kind of want to see this. The point to represent you before any questioning, if you wish. If you'd have let me on my room, you would have saw close to a quarter million dollars cash legally. A hard earned money. Allegation is an allegation. Until what? Until proven. Thank you. So why am I in handcuffs? Three years in college. Whatever time the camera show me not robbing no damn body. So what happened here? I don't know what the backstory is here, but uh, these cops thought famous rapper the baby was uh, a, a robber. Like, is that what they unironically thought? What was going on? Let's go. You know, I don't know if you know rappers, but his name is uh, the baby. Apparently, he beat up one of the guys here outside of the of the hotel. I got flagged down. Right now, we're trying to get the video footage. That you can see something on the video footage, according to my partner. But it's it's there. It's like there's a tree block in the view, so you really can't see much. Nine months. It's uh, his name is the baby. I don't know if you've never heard about him or not. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, bro. He was in a fight over promoters scamming him in front of his hotel. They thought he robbed someone. Dude, why the fuck would famous rapper The Baby, who's already a multi-millionaire, actually fucking rob someone? Like, that's so insanely stupid, dude. That makes absolutely no fucking sense. Like, listen, if it's like a crime of passion, if it's a murder, if it's a fucking aggravated assault, these are things that could happen, right? Like, these are things that could happen, you know? <laughs> Anyone could fucking do that. But it literally makes no sense why he would, like, actually rob someone. There is zero reason for him to do that. Rich doesn't mean smart smile. Dude, that is so... Aaron Hernandez murdered people. He was a millionaire. Some people are sick. Yeah, no, that I understand, dude. CTE, you're fucking angry. Like, I'm saying. Half a year, let's go. The baby allegedly robbed the victim of $80 a credit card and then doused him with apple juice. Like, that makes no sense that he would, like, rob someone, bro. He's, like, already a fucking multimillionaire. That's the dumbest thing to do. But this sounds uh, really interesting. Starting with the baby. Yes, you heard that right. I love being a multi-millionaire rapper and just doing like petty theft for the fun of it. You know what I'm saying? With that $80 famous rapper, the baby could buy two copies of Dark Alliance. <laughs> most people don't know who this guy is. Why would most cops care? Most people don't know who this guy is. No, motherfucker, you don't know who this guy is. But just because you don't know who this guy is doesn't mean he's not insanely famous. Okay. 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 My man said no one knows who this guy is. Okay. Let me, let me dial it back. I know some rappers who continue drug dealing even after they get like... You know, even after they get Thanks a fucking 360 game, record deal, even okay. Donating plasma to pay I know for a fact from tired, literal first-hand accounts. I'm not going to name anything, but like so I know that some rappers do that, okay. But having said that, it is so dumb to do petty theft. Like it doesn't make sense.
Normally, I would, uh, you know, move away from the screen and, like, hide the screen. But his, like, actions are so fucking minor that it, it's, like, not even worth... It's unironically not even worth fucking, you know, uh, hiding the screen over. Hi, Hassan and Yeah, he's a big-time rapper? Apparently not, according to that fuckwit in chat. Yeah, literally, like... Oh, dude, what? The baby? Big-time rapper? Pfft. I've never heard of him and I'm in Twitch chat, dude. It's like, imagine if you behave that way when it came to, imagine if you behave that way when it came to like your favorite Twitch streamer, like you literally would lose your shit when some of the people in this chat lose their shit when, you know, people don't know who the fuck Ice Poseidon is. Whereas like, they're like, I've never heard of him. So who cares? It the two victims told him, like, we don't have the $20,000 right now, but we will give it to you. The baby did not take time to that answer and hit him and his, and his friend. And then allegedly the victim saying that while he was on the ground, the baby stole his hey, baby. iPhone and a credit card and poured an apple juice on There is video surveillance, but it's very hard. It's not, it's not good footage because um, a tree's blocked the, the angle. Were you able in the video? Are you able to see? You can clearly see that the suspect has black skin, which means that's on that's a reasonable grounds for an arrest, sir. Bring him in. I mean, I get that. I get that if they brought him in for a fucking uh, like assault. Like, him up right there, or? I, see a happen. I thought it was like a. I thought it was like a bigger situation. Like, I thought it was like, I thought they brought him in for like an actual robbery. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't realize it was a fucking altercation, a scuffle over like the promoter not immediately paying him up front and then him beating his ass. Yeah, I literally thought they got him for like a, like a fucking bank robbery or something. <laughs> no, this makes sense. Of course, this is, I don't know why I, I it was my fault. Okay chat it was my fault <sighs> this music is so stupid okay it's my bad by the way i i actually thought that this was like a big robbery that they uh called him in for or some shit it's just nothing i'm gonna take you upstairs to the rock I'm the baby. I'm the baby. Uh. Let's go. That's not how he raps. No, that's how he raps. See, we just gotta do our investigation, and that's it. Our investigation is looking at the camera, seeing I ain't do a damn. Then it ain't nothing for the top of me about when y'all see that. Look, the camera see this nigga lying, then it's supposed to be over. Take one look at me, tell me if I'm robbing anything. Allegation is allegation. Until what? Until proven. Thank you. So why am I handcuffed? I mean, he's right. Like, even if it was, even if he was, uh, like, usually you would expect, like, a wealthy person. Like, if he was, like, a rich doctor and someone was like, this guy fucking stole my wallet and he's a rich white doctor like they wouldn't fucking bring him in in handcuffs and shit dude his literal diamond chain that he's rocking right now is more expensive than like literally the the like the chain that he's wearing currently is significantly more expensive than the the material that is in question whether it be the twenty thousand dollars that they're having an argument over or the fucking iphone 7 that was stolen that's the part that's the part i'm talking about bro i should be a handcuff shit. guys stop later, saying later. could be fake or rented what the fuck he's literally an incredibly famous rapper what the fuck is wrong with my chat dude bro you can't do whatever you want to do to me i'm back now looking on the time to rap bro come on bro i'm on the fucking forbes list my nigga you forbes Yeah, he's like wearing the fucking price of a squad car on his goddamn neck. Robbery. Opposite side, gotcha. Yeah. 
lazy too that you can take that damn Christmas tree down. You know you ain't supposed to go in the movie with no Christmas tree. Uh, oh, shit. Hey, can I piss, bro? Yeah, I got this. I got you. Now that we in here, can you take these off me and put them in front? I got you, I got you. Yeah. Bro, who is that guy protecting? Okay. Explain to me. Rich rapper equals pan through crime? No, that's not what I'm even saying. Like, petty theft is not, like, a crime that you would expect a rich rapper to do. Can I take these off before I pee these? Yeah, he's going to take them off for you. Take it over Switch him to the front of What's going on here? Describe to me who this guy is protecting and serving, okay? I mean, he's in remarkable shape. Most in shape cop, but like... But like, what's going on there? What, what's his... Like, what, what's he gonna do? That's a bike cop? Almost a full year of being sub. Been watching since what the fuck? What are you gonna watch him as he oh, pees? Shit. Fucking Dr. Disrespect Andy over uh, here. When you go in the room, yeah, I'm gonna hook, hook you on to one chair. Yo. Okay, bro, you wanna give him some privacy? What the fuck? Okay, I don't know if I can show this. I feel like this is literally Thanks Dr. Piss Inspect. It's I'm gonna keep I'm gonna let it run. But I'm not gonna oh, show you. He's just you're not gonna hear his uh his bowel fluids or his his pee pee fluids. He's just like what what is he peeking in, dude? This is crazy. This shit is silly as hell. This shit is silly. Okay. He's got good flow. He's got I'll be honest. Chad, I'll be honest. I'm not going to shield you from the truth. Here on the Hassan Ivy broadcast, I give you the whole truth and nothing but the truth, so help me God. He's got a good flow. Okay. Ratio, sadly, plus A cap. What is this? Why do people keep saying ratio in my chat? Like, do you think you can ratio in a, in a Twitch chat? Like, what? Does it sizzle like hot oil? Yeah, he's deep frying. He's got that. Ugh, the ratio plus. The ratio plus uh, fucking uh, Twitch chat. Unironically. Ratio. Unironically fucking sound like those annoying like uh, Twitter kids. Oh, the kid knows. My cop knows who he is. Hey, I got some seven thousand dollars. Yeah, I'll give you some money around here. Yeah. yeah, I got you. What you want to do? You want clean hands? I want to try. Seven hundred one two four. Yeah, I ain't had no more seven thousand. Just drop my hands off. Mons, please nuke ratio. Cop is so fucking out of out of breath for just like taking fucking handcuffs off him. It's pretty funny.
<laughs> I would be out of breath if I watched the baby pee. Oh god. You're you're an animal. You know that? It's pretty funny. Bike cop is a fanboy? Yeah, bike cop is just like Myron. He just keeps staring because he knows. He's like, that's interesting to me. I'm gonna just go meet you. I'm gonna meet you. Go on mute for now. Love you, Hassy Poo. I'm not gonna lie, I think it's very odd that you guys don't know the baby. Yeah. They left him in there for 40 minutes to cook him a little bit, you know? A common practice by cops, especially in Miami, is to leave their suspects in the interrogation room for an extended Focus. period of time. This way, the suspect's uh, mental fatigue kicks in. 40 minutes is the appropriate amount of time to do such a thing. <laughs> Don't care plus nuke this ratio. The rapper the baby is exhibiting strong mental fortitude by falling asleep. This is the falling asleep technique. This way, 40 minutes will pass on as though no time has passed. <laughs> I kind of want to watch him roll these detectives, though. Why doesn't he? Why isn't he called a lawyer? Oh, good. So my name is Detective Ledlow. Sitting my Robert Detective Sergeant Murray, uh, Robert Unit. I just want to give some basic. The audio is so trash, dude. It's like, it doesn't help that they sound like hogs, but the audio just is so fucking trash. Sergeant uh, Cinnamon, man? boys, hold on. Come on. Okay, this is literally not audible. Like the cops were already hard to fucking understand. This technique is one that we've never encountered in the entire JCS franchise. The baby seems to be mumbling here. Although he is not a mumble rapper, he seems to be mumbling here in an effort to make it as hard as possible for the thumb-like cops to understand what he's saying. I, I literally do not know what the fuck he's saying. That's racist? I mean, the audio is already muffled, but there is no shot I can understand anything he's saying right now. No, the CC is doubled up. I literally have the live caption on, and I have the, the captions from the fucking video, and I can't hear anything he's saying. Okay. Here, here's, here's the thing, man. We're, we're bound by certain things that we have to do, okay? And you, you, want, you, want, you want this process to go fast, right? Bro, they are there's no way. This is like literally fucking thirty minutes of this. Like, wait, let me just move over here. Went to go eat what time I went, that don't got nothing to do with the fact. You don't know? No. Okay, it gets a little bit better. Okay, it does get better. It does get better. It does get better. Okay, never mind. At first, it's just like really hard to parse through, but it does get better, and the captions kick in again. 
I'm going to read you your rights, okay? I need you to acknowledge them as I read them. You have the right to remain silent. Do you understand that right? I need you to say yes. I don't, the reporter is not going to pick up. Uh, yes. Okay. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Do you understand that? Absolutely. Okay. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. You have the right to have a lawyer present with you during questioning. Do you understand that? Yes. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Do you understand that? Yes. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand that? Yes. Okay. Do you understand each of these rights as I explain them to you? Yes. Okay, I'm going to check the yes box. Having these rights in mind, you wish to talk to us now. Yeah. Okay, do me a favor, sign right here on the X. Would you agree to speak we to us? We some crime someday to get into a JCS bit. Next to your name, I need you to date it. January 2nd, 8.07 p.m. You know how to be a real person drugs or alcohol right now, right? At this moment. Yeah. Okay, when was the last time you took anything? Related. can swipe a card on the folds of the back of the cop's head that's how you know they're good cop like this guy is literally like the police chief you know what i mean he's a he's slated for he's slated to get uh, uh promoted soon the top of the hour every hour like the more thumb like you are the more hireable you are yeah it's like stripes the more folds the more stripes nice nice so you understand the questions that we're asking you and everything that we're speaking, speaking Dude, to? Dude, it's so weird. Why are all cops literally like, why do they turn into, turn into thumbs like no matter what? It's so odd. Like, what the fuck is it that just like... <sighs> do you think the cop washes his folds? Yeah. What was the last grade you completed in school? Sure, what? The last grade you completed in school? School, in high school, or whatever. Wherever. Did you have a business dealing with somebody? No. You did? No. So somebody didn't bring you $20,000 in front of the hotel in your SUV? No. They did? No. Okay. Somebody had somebody bring $20,000 that wasn't theirs and lied to them and told them that it was for an event of theirs on the 31st and lied to them. That person, once he realized they were doing bad business, said nah and left for his $20,000. Okay, so you didn't count. And got no, my contact information to, to do business the right way. That's what happened. The people that got y'all put me in because they the crooks. They the criminals is what I'm telling you. Bro. Okay, so you, you didn't count like $20,000? Did you count $20,000? No, I did. Okay. Yeah. You did. Okay. Well, what time was it, sir? I don't know. Whatever time they chose. So you're saying whatever, that you weren't, you weren't. Whatever time, person? whatever time the camera showed me not robbing no damn body that okay. time. Well, uh, were you there? Was I where? At the location where the twenty thousand where the twenty thousand dollars were being discussed. I just told you they attempted to pay me twenty thousand dollars of somebody else's money. Which I could have took. They tried to give it to me. I was, once I saw that it wasn't good business being done, I nah, uh -uh, what's going on? Y'all clear up what y'all got going on? They couldn't clear it up because they were doing bad business. Okay, so not only they they wasn't they was doing bad business from the get go, and when the person caught on to them doing bad business, he got his money from them and he left, and he got the contract information to book me the correct way. Okay, who is he? I don't know. You got to ask them. Dude, if you're a famous rapper, which he was at this point, like, why the fuck are you letting people beat your promoters, like, people in your crew? It doesn't make any sense. Why are you not fucking calling your lawyer? He got arrested, apparently, uh, right before this in Charlotte, North Carolina, after he pro performed the Bojangles Coliseum. He was cited for marijuana possession. Um, he said 15 cops swarmed his vehicle once he left the venue, searched it, and found weed. Uh, it's, it got, like, to a point where the CMPD actually launched an internal affairs investigation to determine if officers followed 
followed department policies during the incident. The baby was also arrested early 2019 for an alleged attack in November 2018. The rapper allegedly got into a fight with a man inside a Walmart, and the altercation resulted in a man getting shot and killed. The baby initially claimed he was threatening, threatened and was protecting himself and his kids. The cop, the, he never copped to pulling the trigger. God, TMZ writes articles in the weirdest way, dude. The rapper was convicted in June of carrying a concealed gun, a misdemeanor. He was sentenced to 12 months of unsupervised probation and 30 days in jail, but the jail sentence was suspended. He was with his partner and child. You think these cops just took the baby in so they can hang out with the baby? No, I think they don't. They unironically don't know who he is. I have a bit of a fucking headache here. I don't know what's going on right now. They bring, I, don't, I don't know the two dudes that was there. No name. I mean... He's a black dude that wasn't that famous back then who killed someone and basically fucking got away with it. So it must have been like, like, I don't think cops are doing uh, black dudes that kill people at Walmart like any favors. You know what I mean? I haven't eaten yet. No, I'm going to eat soon. So I don't know what the details are of that particular uh, case, but it must not have been that bad. Because, like, even if it's fucking North Carolina, like, ultimately, you know, they're not, they're not, like, uh, what do you call it? They're not, they're not going to let a dude like this get away if he killed someone. It's a pretty interesting shooting. You should watch a video on it. There's a video on it? The kid who he killed held a gun to him to G-check him, and he just shot him back? Oh, okay. Well, that's... That's okay. Well, that's a little different, I think. Whooped. And he did it in front of his fucking family, too. G check, like, if he's a real gangster. It's so weird for me to use these terms because uh, it just feels cringe when I say it, but they were, you know, they were checking him. And uh, turns out he he passed it. Eleven. Kind of like when I do an ad check at the top of the hour, where I run a sixty second ad break at the top of the hour. Oh my god, dude! How the baby killed someone? How the baby killed a guy in Walmart legally? Gone sexual. What the fuck? This is actually very interesting. Another way to avoid the ads is with the VPN or with a uh, with the fucking ad blocker, dude. I am so I don't know what's happening to me. But here, I'm running the ad now. Trap lore Ross. Night's deadly shooting that happened inside the Walmart in Huntersville. Hip hop is no stranger to rappers going by the name Baby. Whether it's Cash Money head honcho and human notebook that somebody with Parkinson's has doodled all over, Baby, aka Birdman, or whether it's Dollar Store Young Thug and recipient of the most underwhelming Drake feature since he was court ordered to visit his son Adonis, Lil Baby, or the Huggies wearing rapper who can't seem to go anywhere without leaving a trail of gunshot wounded goons in his wake, Da Baby. Is you wearing the Huggies, bro? These days, I see. Look, today I ain't got on the Huggies. I had the Huggies on the other day. Today I got on the pull-ups. I'm a big boy today. This North Carolina native is one of the only rappers that has ever come out of the city of Charlotte, and he truly made 2019 his year. His recent major label debut, Baby on Baby, is packing more bangers than an arsonist on bonfire night. But it wasn't always plain sailing on the baby's come up. As he's documented extensively on his YouTube channel, the baby has spent the past few years hustling hard with his street team running all around the USA, plastering pictures of himself everywhere. He's dropped numerous projects over the years, such as Nonfiction, God's Work, Baby Talk, and Blank Blank, which actually came out the very month of the deadly Walmart shooting that you're about to Okay. I feel like this dude, this dude yes. narrating this just feels wrong. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to, I don't know enough about Trap Lore Ross, but there's just like, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. 
about to find out about. Eventually, he decided to change his name from Baby Jesus to Da Baby because he thought that it was incompatible with the industry, the public, and pretty much anyone in the world. This was probably a wise move as the last up and coming artist to try and go by the name Baby Jesus ended up getting completely crucified, though he did have an equally good street team. The baby only recently came to the mainstream attention, partly because of his Baby on Baby project, but also partly because of this deadly Walmart shooting that left a 19 year old man dead and cemented the baby's position in hip hop as a real ass dude. However, the baby is no stranger to violence and he's a real ass dude. <laughs> It's the baby on baby violence. <laughs> I don't know why it's like, bro, this dude is so, this dude is so white, dude. He embraces the irony. No, I, I see that. I like it. I like what he's doing. He's been the target of several incidents throughout his career, including attempted robberies, arrests, and even attempted murder, when in 2017, he actually tried to kill his own career by going to South by Southwest dressed in a diaper. New baby, new baby, new baby, new baby. It was actually this incident that caused him to fall out with his team, and he addressed this in an interview that I can only assume was recorded in the bird section of the North Carolina Zoo. Look at these old nigga diapers. Let me put one of these motherfuckers on, out here on these hoes, and got them do my little dance and shit, man. That shit went crazy, you know what I mean? So, uh, yeah, yeah, I agree with you. He's British, boys. He's never heard birds before, okay? This is, this is new for him. Or that's how Florida is too, though. Like... Florida's got some crazy ass birds, dude. If you've never, if you've never been to Florida and you go to Miami, you're like, what the fuck is going on right now? Like, is that a, is that a car alarm? Like, like it literally sounds unnatural. Percent them facts, yeah, that shit got stagnant. Niggas wanted to figure out a different approach and then tried to approach it on some different shit and that shit didn't work. That's why I'm back on my baby Jesus shit, you feel me? But seriously speaking, it looked like for a while the baby just couldn't get a break. Firstly, he was the target of a pretty tough home invasion, which actually Texas too. He left one man shot. When I come around this corner, somebody getting shot. My brother, he either he either somebody fighting with him or you know, they didn't run somebody running up in her. You feel me? So I, I come I come down the hallway. Mm -hmm. Come out of the hallway, turn the corner like James Bond. Bam. He also was filmed getting pepper sprayed outside of a Gucci main show. Yeah, they pepper sprayed the hell out of me. What's that? They pepper sprayed the hell out of an innocent man that night. That shit hurt. You got pepper sprayed? Hell yeah, yeah. And in this hilarious moment where he was filming a music video in another state, a couple of local goons roll up on him and try and press him, asking for a permission slip to film in their hood. Who signed up a permission slip? Ain't nobody signed up a permission slip for me. Mm -mm. Huh? Oh yeah, I ain't know that. Okay. This last one is actually part of a long running trend in hip hop. When rappers blow up to the point where they start touring nationally and playing shows in different states, usually the local goons and gangsters will try and muscle in on the action and often will try and gain clout by telling rappers that if they want to come to their city, they need to check in and get a permission slip. Rapper 6 9 was able to play up to this and boost his clout by routinely playing into this concept and dissing local rappers that were suggesting that he needed to check in. I don't check into nobody, you know what I'm saying? And with that in mind, I just want to make it very clear that if any rappers want to play a show in Bognor Regis, you're going to have to check in with me, Kerr. Are you ever afraid that you're going to be there? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! He said Kerr! Bro, you can't do that. <laughs> <Jesus, that's laughs> oh! Oh, my man said, Kerr, you're gonna have to check in with me, Kerr. Oi, bruv. Oi, bruv, I'll fucking shank you. Oi, in it. I said, Kerr, in it. I know he's joking. It's just so funny. The victim of a clout chaser? Nah, a clout chaser gonna be my victim. In the face of all these constant G-checks and threats, who would have thought that it was this incident at a local Walmart that would leave a 19-year-old man dead and a baby being thrust into the national spotlight? That's real sad, This incident though. happened at the Huntersville Walmart in North Carolina oh around 6.30 p.m. Oh my God, he did, not just say, he did not just title this shootout at the, the Huntersville Walmart. Huntersville Walmart in North Carolina. Okay, dude, come on, dude. This is like, like someone got fucking... Someone got killed, dude. I mean, I don't want to... Is the video on there? Like, can you see it? I feel like this dude's uh, style is that, like, it is so... 
far beyond the pale, pun intended, that like it rolls back around and he like recognizes the irony of him, you know, uh, speaking like this. No, it wasn't recorded. Okay, good. Carolina at around 6.30 p.m. on the 5th of November, 2018. This isn't actually the first time DaBaby has got in trouble at a Walmart. In fact, here's a clip of him drunk trying to shoot a music video in a Walmart at 6 a.m. that ended up with him getting arrested. Okay. This is what it looked like when six joint niggas try to shoot a video at Walmart at 6 in the morning. Well, we got a nice little wake up call in the morning. Story goes, DaBaby was in this Walmart with his baby mama and his one-year-old daughter buying winter clothes. It was at this point that Jalon Dominique Craig, a 19-year-old, approached a baby in the kids' clothing section of that Walmart, pulled a gun on him, and said that he needed to check in. We came back down here to check it. They like, yeah, come outside. Style. And he then they, they clutch it. They, they clutch it. Hands in the pockets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They was in there with that iron. You get what I'm saying? But, you know. Does so when, mean, no, when you got outside. We I mean, ain't go outside, Charlamagne. Oh, we didn't even get that far. Nah, that's what I said. That ain't how it happened when you were in the parking lot. That ain't oh, so it was in Walmart? Yes. And more breaking news tonight at five. Okay, that's fucking nuts. That like, that's crazy. That someone just like walked up to him with a gun. Fun fact, Lennon and was, was like, you know, asking him to check in for his city, and he just shot him. That's insane, dude. Police have identified the man shot and killed inside a Huntersville Walmart as 19-year-old Jalen Craig. Some of the details about what went down immediately after the gun was pulled are unclear. But legend has it, the baby pulled out a 40 that he keeps on him and fired two to three shots. One of them hit the victim in the stomach and killed him. In fact, a grisly picture even emerged oh, no! of the victim laying in a pool of blood at the Walmart. I obviously can't show you this on YouTube, but it is easily found with a Google search. And Same. if I learned one thing from looking at that image, it's that I do not envy the cleanup team working in Walmart that day. Lots yeah, that's that's how the that's how the fucking North Carolina Walmart announcer sounds, dude. Jesus People reported Christ, that this dude is like the shooting was a result of a fight. Someone taking died, place bro. Between like a 19 year old kid died, dude. Around Holy five shit. people in the store. But there was no security footage to support this, and no evidence of a fight seems to have ever seen. It's a bit of a cheeky spillage in it. Oi, bruv. It was a fucking murder, yeah? I'll shank you. I'll fucking shank you, bruv. Surfaced. Also, many false reports came out suggesting that this death was a result of a shootout in the parking lot. The local news reported extensively on this story, and one reporter even got so excited whilst interviewing the chief of police that she couldn't help but give him sloppy toppy while he was still speaking to the reporters. He believed had been involved in a shooting inside of a Walmart. Surprisingly, DaBaby responded in an Instagram Live the next day. The footage come out and show y'all how I was in there with my one-year-old daughter, my five-year-old little nigga, my baby mama, on some family shit, and he nigga walked up on me, tried me, whipped out on my whole family. How do you niggas owe me an apology, dog? Then a day after that, he popped up on Instagram once again to offer condolences to the victim of the shooting, as well as clearing up any rumors that he was using this incident to promote his new release. Condolences goes out to the, to the other parties involved. I can totally understand why people would be upset about somebody using a terrible tragedy to promote their album. But we all know it works. I mean, who could forget after the real Hannibal Lecter was caught after a 12-person murder spree, and it all turned out the whole thing was just a ploy to promote his new album, Hannibal Till You Fall. However, in spite of his claims that he wasn't using this incident to promote his music, only three days after that shooting happened, he dropped his new music video, No Tears. With kind of ironic that you made fun of the idiot that died of corona, but now the idiot that tried to G-check someone at Walmart, just saying. No, I, I think it's really fucking stupid. Uh, and uh, yeah, no, he got absolutely his shit clapped. And, uh, you know, I don't, really, I don't really feel too bad. He fucking pulled a gun on... He pulled a gun on someone in a Walmart in front of his fucking family members. You know? But, uh, you know, someone still died there, so... which featured a pretty extended intro sequence that featured loads of clips from the news reporting on the killing. And we begin with that breaking news about a deadly shooting. Not someone, the baby, true. Inside the Huntersville Walmart. Was shot and killed inside a Huntersville Walmart. People who were inside that Walmart say it was a chaotic scene yesterday. It's also worth noting that in these clips, he actually did include moments that suggested that the shooting had taken place after a fight. Now, I don't know whether this was a red herring to throw people off of the idea that it was a fight or whether this is the baby essentially confirming.
it does seem interesting that he uh, chose to bring that up. It seems like he's been holding that in for a while. Maybe he got mad that a fucking white supremacist cop got uh, killed. Well, not killed. A white supremacist cop literally fucking killed himself after routinely talking about how, uh, you know, COVID was fake and that My he had a strong TV. constitution so it wouldn't happen to him. And uh, only pussies died of COVID. And then he fucking died, you know? It's a little bit different than, I don't know, like a fucking 19 year old idiot who got caught up in his, in his, uh, socioeconomic conditions who then turned around and like did something incredibly fucking stupid that ended up getting him killed. You know, imagine, imagine trying to actively, uh, compare the two. Cause you're so fucking butt hurt by again, a cop who was like literally agitating others around him. No, nah, they both really deserved it, lol. Just thought it was ironic. No, I don't think you thought it was ironic. I think that you, again, want to, um, you, you, you wanted to, you want to hear me. Some of you chatters want me to, like, shit on 19-year-old black kids uh, who behave in stupid ways sometimes, and some of them get uh, murdered as a consequence of that. You want it because you haven't been able to let go of your, like, edgy ways of, of, uh, you know, your edgy, like kind of white supremacist ways that you learned on like the Reddit circles that you were in. And that's what it is. You, you, you held on to it for a long ass time. You, you think it's fun. You think it's funny. The cop, uh, dying is uh, probably funny to you too. In some, in some ways of COVID, but, uh, this one, you're like, please go ham on this, uh, kid, like go ham on this 19 year old. Like, please, I, I want to feel better. Just curious, bro. Come on. Come on, bro. That a fight did take place before the shooting. The baby was reportedly arrested for carrying a concealed weapon, but these charges were later dropped. This is an interesting tidbit because when you go back and look at some of the footage where the baby is talking about the incident, he doesn't necessarily take responsibility for the shooting, but he often just mentions the gunshots that saved his life. And if them gunshots ain't go off, nigga, motherfucking daughter could have got hit. Got it's also wild that there was only one dude with a gun. Your microphone is a bit robotic. Wait, really? This what what is happening? I don't know what's wrong with my mic, boys. It could be. I mean, maybe maybe it is. It's not. Okay. It's Twitch, not your mic. It's picking up some ringing sound. No, there's no ringing sound. That hit me. Now, what's most likely is that he's just using clever wording for legal reasons so that he's not necessarily implicating himself in anything beyond a self-defense shooting. But on the other hand, there have been some suggestions made on the internet that he actually wasn't the trigger man in the shooting. Whilst we're talking about the legalities of self-defense shootings, it's worth noting that North Carolina actually does have the controversial stand your ground law, which means that under reasonable circumstances, the duty to flee a dangerous situation are removed, allowing you to essentially by law stand your ground and defend yourself with deadly force. There's actually an amazing moment in debate Baby's interview with Charlemagne at the Breakfast Club when he's asked whether or not the police ever get tired of seeing him on these self-defense charges. And he comes back with one of the realest things I've ever heard a rapper say. Hey, hey, do, do we get tired of seeing them on eight self-defense charges? Yeah, okay. All right, All right. let's play Phil. Well, the shooting actually seemed to do wonders for baby's career and it cemented his reputation as a real- Is there a slight ringing when I'm talking or is there a slight ringing when it's like, when the video is going on. It's not coming for me then. ...dude in the hip hop scene, as well as bringing a whole lot of extra attention to his music. He went on to sign with Interscope in January of 2019, dropped his debut project, Baby on Baby, which featured the smash singles, Suge and Babysitter. In addition to that, he also became the first rapper to violate Nardwa the Human Serviette and turned him into Nardwa the Human Wallet. Yeah, though, too. Give him the ski, bro. Give him the ski, bro. He tripping. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, the baby seems to have an uncanny ability to finesse every bad situation into a victory. In fact, this situation seems to have worked out so well for the baby, and he was recently offered a lucrative seven-figure endorsement deal from Walmart themselves. Shut the fuck up. No shot. Okay, dude. Okay. God damn it. This son of a bitch. Fucking Christ.
Okay, that was... I hope you enjoyed that video. Okay, that was... Fucking... You son of a gun.